And I would want to say with all finality that if the founding fathers could come back and see what's being made of that First Amendment, mm -hmm. they would consider it nothing less than tyranny. Say, 80 years ago, uh, there was an absolute Christian consensus in this country. This country was founded on a Christian consensus, a Judeo-Christian position, especially as it came out of the Reformation. And this was the dominant view. But beginning about 80 years ago, it began to shift. And then all the titanic changes have come in the last 40 years. Mm -hmm. So within the time of our own lifetime, the changes come. Today, we live in a humanist society. They control the schools. Mm -hmm. They control public television. They control the media in general. And what we have to say is we live in a humanist uh, society. But we're moving very, very rapidly toward a totally humanist society. And if we don't hurry up and do something, uh, we're really in trouble. Well, let's go. The, one of the things that I hear so often is the question of separation of church and state. They say, well, we're supposed to separate church and state, separate church and state. And uh, uh, the humanists don't mean by that what our founding fathers, of course, they didn't use that in the Constitution, but the, but the thinking of today is, is vastly different from what our founders, founding fathers thought. Absolutely contrary to it. The First Amendment only meant two things and nothing else, and that is that they would not have a national church. Mm -hmm. uh, like the Church of England or the Church of Sweden. The church, they, were, they were opposed to the concept of a church for the 13 colonies. The second thing is, now listen, because it's exactly contrary to what's being made, the, church, the, the state would not interfere with religion. Now that's all the First Amendment meant. Mm -hmm. And today it's been turned over and made the absolute opposite so that what it's now is uh, that the state is interfering with religion in the very opposite thing. And if now, notice I'm saying religion, All not right. Christianity. That religion now is ruled out of any real impact in our, uh, uh, in our thinking. And the craziness of this shows itself uh, that from the very first, they had somebody pray in Congress. Congress isn't open until it's That's open correct. with prayer. That's correct. So they still can keep doing it. Mm -hmm. But you can't pray in public schools. Yes. How schizophrenic can you get? Well, it's the same thing with the Supreme Court, which says, God bless this noble court. I mean, it starts out that way, and yet they deny the privilege of little children to do what they do and, and to, to post the Ten Commandments, which they have, on the walls of their court. And I would want to say with all finality that if the Founding Fathers could come back and see what's being made of that First Amendment, mm -hmm. they would consider it nothing less than tyranny.